Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Flow and Greenhouses, and today I'm going to answer a question that we get uh, quite often from our customers, and that is, what can petunias handle as far as the cold? You know, what can they? What temperature can they handle down to? And right now it's it's a fall time, and our temperatures are really getting cold here in. Uh, uh, the northern part of Wisconsin, and we've had we've had in the uh, the upper 20s at at night sometimes, and we've had a lot of frost, a lot of freezes, and as you can see behind me, my petunia baskets are doing fantastic. We have these five great big um, proven winners, uh, the super petunia hanging baskets on. This is on the east side of our house, and and they're actually they're looking fantastic, and they're they're still going strong and they can handle that cold. So I really want to answer in two different parts of the question. So in the fall time, those temperatures are gradually going down. So the plants can get acclimated to that cold um, seasonal weather and they can handle down to about 27 degrees before they, you know, they really give up the ghost. Now, if it's springtime, that's a little bit different because uh, when the, the plants and the flowers are growing in the greenhouses, they've had a pretty, uh, pretty good in the greenhouses where they might only see maybe a, the lowest, maybe 60 degrees or maybe 58 degrees um, nighttime temperature. So uh, it, it's kind of a, sh we have to be real careful in the, in the early spring because it can be kind of a shock for these, these hanging baskets to go outside and they're used to maybe 60 degrees and then all of a sudden they have, you know, 40 at night. So. Um, it, it takes a little bit to get acclimated, and we try to do that in their greenhouses. Uh, you know, right before we uh, we sell our hanging baskets, I'm, I'm I'm stepping those temperatures down in the greenhouses. But anyway, so in the fall time though, they can really handle some cold weather, and they're still they're still just looking fabulous. Now our our hanging baskets on the front of our floral shop do not look nearly as good as this, and the reason is uh, the ones on this side. These are the these are facing east, and they, it gets a lot of sun yet from the uh, that morning sun, and and way you know up until about noon or so, it, they're getting a lot of sunshine. The ones on our front on the on our floral shop, those are north facing, and as this sun is uh, going lower and lower in the sky as we go into the fall season, uh, they're just not getting any sunlight at all because they're on the backside of the floral shop, uh, so they they're just not getting any sunshine. Um, so these these still look great, and they're, they're still they're they're still holding strong. Now, I've been feeding them um, uh, about twice a week with the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer. Um, and, and that really, they, they get a little bit sluggish and when the weather starts turning cold. So what we do is we, we transfer from that summertime of, you know, feeding, feeding once a week with the, the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer, you know, that fertilizer Friday. Uh, once we head into the cold temperatures, I start feeding them about twice a week, you know, that Tuesday, Friday, or Monday, Friday, whatever, whatever works out, uh, because they're, the plants are just a little more lethargic and it takes a little bit more uh, to get them to kick in and, and keep producing those blooms into, the, uh, into that cold season. So now, um, now I'm just not doing a whole lot though, uh, and, and I looked at our, our next couple weeks of weather and it's, it's not looking good. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty much kind of done uh, with the flowers. And because every time I, you know, our, our temperatures are so cold in, uh, at night in the morning, I have to drain all the hoses and everything so that the, you know, the, they don't rupture from, from forming ice. So these are only getting watered once every few days at best because it's a, it's a lot of work. So we're gonna, we're gonna squeeze them out a few more days here and, and enjoy what we have yet. But uh, it, next couple of weeks, you know, when they're, they're be they'll be done so so I hope that answers the questions or for those of you who are, who are asking me you know how how cold can petunias take well the short answer is about 26 27 degrees once we're into that fall time so I hope that I answered that question we'll see you later take care